All right, I'm recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you, Pook, with a new Life After Navy episode. And in today's episode, we're going to be talking about the do's and don'ts of using social media in the military. So this is actually kind of a video response to another fellow Navy vet, JT Suits, who at the time of this recording has passed 11,000 subscribers. So awesome. Great to hear of your success family <laughs> and stuff like that. So, uh, and please, anybody watching this video, by all means, go ahead and subscribe to JT's channel as well. I'll put a link in the description, the boopity boops, so be sure to check him out. Give him a little uh, sub love <laughs> and stuff like that. But anyway, uh, today we're going to be talking about the do's and don'ts of using social media in the military, including YouTube. This whole video was brought, about, brought to my attention uh, based off of the experiences of another Navy sailor who apparently had their channel uh, effectively taken down actually. I mean, granted his channel's still technically up, but there's only a couple videos on there. And he used to have like hundreds of videos apparently. And then JT made a video talking about what had happened. You know, he suspected that maybe his chain of command uh, just kind of told him to get rid of his channel or at least get rid of the Navy content on his channel and I'm not sure exactly what happened because you know I didn't know about the situation or even know who the person was until JT brought it up so it's hard for me to to say if that's what happened unless the guy makes a video or posts something in a blog or whatever somewhere you know saying what happened so I'm not gonna speculate on that but I do want to uh, give you guys out there who are in the military, it doesn't really matter what branch, you know, I'm just basing all my stuff on my Navy experience, so if you're Air Force, Army, whatever, you know, same rules pretty much apply. So uh, I wanted to make this video for a while, but I wanted to do a little bit of research just to make sure that what I'm saying is uh, still relevant. So to give you guys a little background on me and my experience using social media, you know, as a member of the armed forces. I started making videos on YouTube, uh, on a consistent basis anyway, back in late 2008. And I joined the US Navy in 2010, got out in late 2015, so that's why I have the fro <laughs> now. But basically I've just been using uh, social media ever since I joined the Navy and during my entire time in, you know, I was making videos and stuff like that, you know, showing off different uh, ports that we would visit, uh, showing different uh, ship outings and stuff like that, as well as, you know, my own stuff, you know, my own ex experiences in Japan and whatnot. So basically I've been using YouTube and other social media like Facebook, Twitter, and all those kinds of things, because Snapchat really wasn't as big as it is now back when I was in the Navy, but, you know, the same basic rules apply, I think. There was a lot of worry over whether or not, you know, the U.S. military can uh, use social media, you know, as representing their branch or whatever the case may be. And uh, I looked up all the different uh, instructions and stuff like that. And it's pretty much the same as when I was in. There's really not a whole lot of difference. So today we're going to be discussing uh, just five little bullet points that I pulled from one of the uh, the instructions as well as a uh, a guidebook on how to use social media and uh, I'm gonna put links in the description as well below for you guys to check out so you can look at the entire thing at your discretion and uh, look over some more de for uh, more detailed explanation of things and the actual written instruction by the Department of Defense so it's more of a, uh, a military-wide thing as opposed to a branch-specific thing. But I also encourage you guys to look up branch-specific uh, instructions as well that will help you in uh, making the right decisions. So uh, let's discuss, uh, I guess, the definition of social media, which is kind of silly, but you know, we'll just get it out of the way so you guys aren't confused about what's social media and what's not social media. So social media is basically uh, sites like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube is technically a social media, you know, believe it or not. Um, so stuff like that, stuff where you share personal information uh, through a medium. Basically, it's not like a blog or something like that. So 
Um, and feel free to add your own uh, social media, I guess. But those are the, uh, the big ones that I've named off. So now that we know what social media is, <laughs> hopefully, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, I picked out five little do's and don'ts collectively as far as what you should do and should not do as a member of the armed forces on social media. And these are just kind of duh, but you know, I thought I'd uh, go through them anyway. So first, uh, do identify yourself by rate, rank and rate, or MOS for you non-Navy types, uh, when discussing military matters online. You can withhold your name if you like. If you prefer uh, your own personal privacy and you don't want to disclose your first or last name, you can do that, but uh, it would be best to also identify yourself by whatever your rank is, you know, E5, E6, you know, O3, O4, whatever. Or you could do it by your rate. So if I was still in, I would be STG2, so Sonar Technician, Surface, Second Class, E5. So that's basically what I would uh, address myself as if I were, you know, discussing military matters as far as letting people know that I'm actually a member of the U.S. Navy. I'm not just some random dude in the chat, stuff like that. So, you know, just feel free to mention what you do, I guess, you know, but be reasonable about it, you know, kind of leading into the next point here, which is a big one. And I did this with NFAX. So do add a disclaimer that what you are discussing online about the military is strictly your own opinion, and it does not represent your command or the military in general. So if you guys notice, and I noticed this in the uh, more recent, at the time of this recording, recent, uh, re-uploads of NFAX, I put in a short little disclaimer before the episode, I think it's saying something like, the following is not, and the following is, the, is based on the opinions and personal experiences of, of the creator, is not officially linked, supported, or endorsed by the USN, DON, or DOD. I think that's what it is. <laughs> I'm surprised I still remember it. But I basically put that in that little disclaimer after reading uh, some uh, instruction on how to use social media as a member of the military and just to help cover my own ass in case someone up in the chain of commands like, you shouldn't be doing that, you shouldn't be saying that. So I just put that little disclaimer in there just to be safe and to establish that what I'm saying is based on my own opinions about the military, my own experiences in the military, because I can only speak from my experience. You know, I can't tell people what's life like in the Marine Corps or something like that, because I don't know that. I, I haven't experienced that. I have friends that are Marines, both former and current, and, you know, they can discuss their experiences, but I can't discuss those types of experiences because... They're not my own. <laughs> Simple as that. So um, if you do decide to uh, make military videos, especially while you're in the military, and if you're out of the military, whatever. Um, I don't know exactly how, you know, how much restriction you have. I'd imagine not that much, you know, unless it gets into uh, classified information or something like that. So just, you know... Put the disclaimer before the uh, the start of the video just to let people know that uh, these are your opinions and they do not represent or reflect the opinions and the stances of your command. And you don't have to list your command, just, you know, they're not officially linked, supported, or endorsed by whatever your branch is, uh, DOD, stuff like that. And the third thing here, do feel free to correct and or clarify matters online with facts. So this is one of the things that I really like doing. You know, it's one of the reasons why I started NFAX was because back in uh, 2010, and even today actually in 2016, uh, there really isn't a whole lot of uh, YouTubers who are in the military, either past or present. And when I was thinking about joining, I didn't really have any current uh, frames of reference as far as, you know, what the military is like now, or back in 2010, I should say. You know, all, my only frames of reference were my cousins who had served um, back in the 80s and 90s, and then uh, my other cousins 
got out in the uh, early 2000s. So I didn't really have a good frame of reference for what military life was like uh, circa 2010. So I was looking at different places, you know, YouTube, which was, you know, maybe two or three years old at the time. So there wasn't a lot of YouTubers in general out there, actually, and certainly not not to the extent that there are now. I mean, Jesus, there's gobs of YouTubers. But, uh, you know, the basic gist of it is that there wasn't really a big military community online, ex at least expressing what current military life is like. And uh, so I decided to uh, make my own uh, video series talking about uh, my own experiences in the military and, you know, trying to help out other people who are, you know, either thinking about joining the military or if they are in the military and they have questions about, you know, what I do to transfer or, you know, I pick this rate, can I cross rate or mm, stuff like that. And so NFAX was born. Navy Frequently Asked Questions, which was uh, the prequel to this series right here, Life After Navy. So in NFAX, I discussed um, what life was like as an active duty sailor. And in Life After Navy, well, I discussed life after the Navy. <laughs> you know, what life is like as a Navy veteran. And, you know, this series, I feel like I can be a bit more... Uh, open about my opinions of the Navy, the military, stuff like that. Whereas um, when I was active duty, I felt very, uh, just very held back as far as some of my uh, negative opinions about being in the military. And that's another thing. It's not really on my little do's and don'ts list that I have off to the side here, but um, definitely... Um, and this goes for any job, really. This isn't just a military thing. You know, this is a, you know, working thing. So uh, don't shit where you eat, basically. <laughs> so um, if you're currently in the, uh, in the service, try to avoid talking negatively about the service. Um, I know it's hard because there's a lot to talk about, you know, but it's best to just kind of let it go, at least until you get out, and then by all means load because <laughs> you don't have to worry about you know your chain of command coming down on you unless you talk about secret stuff but that's a whole nother topic entirely and we'll get to that so anyway um, you know like I said with making end facts and stuff I wanted to put out not only correct information but also current information because a lot of the uh, resources that I looked up online for uh, joining the military and its various branches were either uh, really out of date or just very generic. You know, it's <laughs> I could probably get more information watching Full Metal Jacket or Major Pain than I could a lot of these sites, you know. But there is one resource that I still recommend today for people who are thinking about joining the military. It doesn't matter what branch, just the military in general. They have their own branch-specific uh, sections, but definitely check out uh, military.about.com. I think it's still up. But that was, uh, hands down, the best resource that I had at the time for uh, all my different questions about military life and, you know, everything. It's just a, an indispensable resource, I think, to a lot of questions that people may have about military life and stuff like that. So definitely, definitely recommend that if you guys are thinking about joining the military. So anyway, moving on here. Uh, let's get into the do nots. So, do not get into an online argument. If it escalates into something negative, uh, just ignore the person and block them if needed. So this is kind of common sense YouTuber stuff. You know, I've run into that problem a lot. You know, being on YouTube for over 10 years, I've seen my fair share of trolls, you know. People saying, oh, you're too fat, you're disgusting, kill yourself, mm. You know, and it actually got worse when I was in the Navy because I'd get a lot of, you know, real salty ass veterans like, you're too fat to be in my Navy. If you were in my Navy, we'd throw you in the brig and feed you bread until you were 50 pounds lighter. Mm. You know, and I just, you know, haters gonna hate, right? <laughs> so, um, I didn't really get into it with them. I just ignored them, blocked them, 
and moved on. So that's what I uh, highly recommend you do. Now, uh, if it's constructive criticism or if they're just trying to, um, you know, get some information and they're kind of asking it in a really odd tone or something like that. It's just, obviously, the, these kinds of things are a case-by-case -case basis. You know, what is trolling and stuff like that. But uh, if it clearly escalates into something that's very obviously negative, um, just ignore what the person is saying. Um, if they're doing it on your social media platforms, block them if necessary. And uh, just move on. You know, be the bigger man or woman, depending on who you are. So, and lastly, and this is uh, something I kind of hinted at uh, in earlier bits here, uh, do not compromise OPSEC by discussing ship's movement or revealing any information that requires a clearance. So, for those of you who don't know, OPSEC is short for Operational Security. So, obviously, the old phrase, loose lips sink ships, applies here. So, uh, discussing ship's movement, like when you're pulling into port, how long you're going to be in port for, when are you pulling out of port, when's your next port visit, as well as other things like, well, I don't know, how many missiles can your ship hold, or how many people are on board. Now, uh, as far as like how many people are on board and stuff like that, technically that's classified, so you know, don't give exact figures, but, uh, you know, my general rule of thumb as far as what I can and can't discuss you know, Navy-wise, is basically if you can easily find it online through, like, Wikipedia or something like that, then it's pretty much fair game. But again, use your own personal discretion and, you know, just <laughs> use your head. <laughs> don't, uh, don't give away um, sensitive material. Um, don't give away stuff that requires a clearance. Like, obviously, I can't go into... Uh, super detail about my work as a sonar tech. I can't give out uh, certain frequencies and stuff for subs and things like that. Um, sadly, I couldn't make any videos in any of the sonar spaces because those are classified areas, so that require clearance. So I c <laughs> couldn't do that. So that's why you know I didn't even bother. And you can't even have your phones in those spaces anyway, or at least you're not supposed to. You know. <laughs> But what you gonna do? So, yeah, I can't go doing any of that kind of stuff because it's a non-disclosure agreement. But uh, you know, I can talk about some of the generic stuff, just you know what sonar is in general, and you know I can discuss some very basic stuff. I can't get into specifics and things like that. But you know, <laughs> it is what it is. So definitely don't uh, talk about anything that could affect OPSEC. Uh, don't talk about anything that requires a clearance. And just basically use common sense. That's the overall theme of the do's and don'ts of using social media. Not just in the military, but in general. You know, just use common sense, you know. Don't post stuff you're not supposed to. Don't be an idiot. And, you know, try to represent uh, not only your command, but your, uh, your branch and the military in general as something positive. And that was uh, another thing that, another reason why I made those videos, you know, from 2010 to 2015. That's a long ass time, you know. Made those videos to show people that, you know, the military is, you know, can be a positive thing. Because I would see all the time in the news uh, about, oh, so and so, you know, these two Japanese people got raped in Okinawa, or I guess recently, some girl went drunk driving and ran into some people. And so there's this whole big thing of, oh, the military is just a bunch of wild people. You know, they just do whatever and the local government can't punish them and stuff like that. And you just hear all this negativity about the military and its members. But uh, I wanted to uh, help spread some positivity and to show that we're not all bunch of big lumbering idiots, you know. I mean, some of us are, but uh, for the most part, we're generally okay people, I guess. <laughs> we're a little weird, but, you know. And uh, again, I wanted to uh, be a resource of information for people who are thinking about joining. And I remember, I remember specifically uh, one time 
where I was uh, stationed out in Yokosuka, Japan for about two and a half years. And uh, I was leaving base. It was a long day for me. I was just fucking tired and beat. And uh, I just wanted to go home so badly. But uh, I was right at the gate and I ran into somebody. He's like, hey, you're you're that guy on the on the YouTube, right? I'm like, yeah, who are you? Oh, dude, I watched your videos, uh, my wife and I did, and thanks so much, you know, if it wasn't for your videos, I wouldn't have joined the Navy, and this was just some third class, so an E4, so he definitely had some time in, and I'm like, oh, dude, that's, you know, that just made my day, to be honest with you, it was just like, wow, people actually watch my videos, and, you know, my videos change people's lives, you know, hopefully for the better, I know there's some... There's some cons to military life, but uh, that's for another video. <laughs> so, um, where are we at here? About 20 some odd minutes in. So just to wrap up this video, um, use common sense. Don't do anything that would uh, affect um, operational security. Loose lips, sink ships. Don't shit where you eat. Don't be a fool. Wrap your tool. <laughs> or wrap his tool if uh, you're of the opposite sex. Um, and yeah, um, I'll also put in the uh, description links below for uh, the instruction and for the guidebook so you guys can uh, look through the whole thing at your own discretion. Um, I just went over a couple little details that I thought were really important, but if you want to look at the whole thing, um, as well as if you want to look at more branch-specific things, you could probably just find them online. Just look for whatever branch you're in, you know, social media instruction or something like that. You know, it's pretty easy to find. So, anyway, with that said, this is the Andy San. Sign up for now, thinking you guys, Pook, for tuning into this video and for watching other stuff. Also want to thank you guys for liking the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, sending a few friends to the party. And hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.